Hello, everybody. How are you? Judy, Laura, everyone that's joining us. Hello, hello, Gail. How are you? How's everybody doing on this lovely Tuesday? This uh, Tuesday isn't just for tacos day. I have got to figure out my lighting. Hello, Renee. Reflex in my, in my mat. All right. Well, looks like we're going to have to invest in some lighting, ladies. So, how's everybody doing? This is uh, number two. Hi, Susan. In a five-part series um, about embossing powder. And this is an example of the technique that we're going to talk about really quickly today. Um, and it is using some WOW embossing powder. And we do have this in the store. This is metallic copper. And we will also be using this uh, embossing pad that I absolutely love because it's ultra slow drying. So um, I just used an inked background that I had. And as you can see, <laughs> the same gnomes that I used for our technique last week are ending up on our sample this week but we are going to work on an inked background and then just the plain white background so you can see the difference this is just inked with ice spruce uh, distress ink I kind of tried to do an ombre um, I think I did got it a little bit and then this is the embossing powder in the background just gives a little texture a little shine um, a little dimension and you can see it it's it's pretty shiny, it's definitely metallic. So let's jump right into it. You guys ready? Everybody ready? All right. So let's do that, let's try this technique on this plain white piece of cardstock. I'm gonna do this on top of a scrap piece of paper. So what we're going to use to apply our embossing um, ink is just a piece of deli paper. This is just a 500 <laughs> sheets of deli paper that I got at Gordon. So you could use tissue paper. Um, you could probably just use a scrap sheet of paper, um, but we're gonna crumble it up like this. Not too tight, kind of loose, so that you can hold it in your hand like this. Hi, Lois. Um, and then what you do is take your, I should probably prepare the embossing powder too. We'll open the lid, hoping that I don't spill it. Okay, so you're just gonna take your tissue or your deli paper or whatever it is that you're using. Hi, Holly. And you're just going to dab it in the embossing powder and then dab it on your paper. And you can see it, you can see the embossing ink on here. Not a, a whole lot. But you can, and you can do this, put your embossing powder on, and if you wanted to add more, you can go back for another round. All right, so, I need a bigger piece of paper. <laughs> All right, so where you dabbed with your um, deli paper is where the embossing powder is going to stick. Now, I'm gonna turn my heat gun on. And I always like to start from underneath so that we don't blow the uh, embossing powder away. And then once it starts to melt, you can uh, take your heat gun to the top. Sorry, I'm trying to get this in. I need to raise my camera up so I can do this underneath. But as you can see here, it's starting to melt. I'll just take my gun on the top here. So what you get left with is this uh, texture, this little shine, where your paper, uh, your deli paper that had the embossing ink on it, touched 
the paper that you are putting your background on. It doesn't necessarily need to be a background either. You could also probably do this on chipboard or a pattern paper if you wanted to add a little something. All right, so this is what you end up with. All right, now, if you wanted to put more, you could go in for round two. All right, so that is the sample on the plane. Now let's do, and I'm just gonna use my same piece of belly paper and do the same thing to my inked background. And this is just a piece of heavy card stock, uh, the Distress Heavy Stock that I had pre-inked. I just took it out of my bin and um, I think I mentioned this last week when we talked. If you're doing an inked background, you want to make sure that it's completely dry before you put uh, your embossing ink on there and then your embossing powder because wherever it's wet, that is where your embossing powder sticks, remember? So let's give this one a heat. And you guys, I love to, I love it when it starts to melt and you can tell and you see the change. And always remember to keep your heat gun moving so you're not scorching your paper. And we definitely uh, have the, the embossing pad in stock. And we also, like I mentioned, have the copper metallic embossing powder. I'm multitasking. I can't chew gum and, and walk at the same time, apparently, trying to talk to you and make sure that my embossing powder is melting. All right. While I finish this up, does anybody have any questions about this technique? It's super simple, isn't it? And again, this is another technique that um, we learned in our retailer education from WOW embossing directly. This is one of the techniques that they showed us. There are just so many different ways that you can use embossing powder that just isn't embossing um, on a stamped image, but there are just so many fun ways to use it. So you can see, look at how great that looks on that inked background. And you, it could be so many different things. It could just be texture. Uh, it could be, you know, depending on the color of embossing powder you're using, it could be clouds in the sky. It could be, you know, it could be so many things, just a pattern, but it's just so pretty. The, uh, the metallic embossing powder. Yes, Laura, you could just use tissue paper. Um, that's just, a, you know, it's just like belly paper, except a little bit thicker. You could use parchment paper. You could use um, deli paper. You could use tissue paper. Um, and I think you could probably even use, like, copy paper. You might not get as many spots that the um, the paper actually touches you know, because it'll be a lot, a little bit stiffer. Um, you might have to press a little bit harder, but that is the quick and easy and fun technique. Uh, our technique number two, using embossing powder. So I am so glad you guys joined. Um, we will also have this uh, up for replay. Um, on our Facebook page and also on our YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you check out our YouTube channel, Scrappy Chic Livonia, I think. Is that correct, Renee, uh, for YouTube? We've got all of our videos, all of our technique videos that we did when the store was closed, when COVID first uh, came about. Um, so there's a lot of um, uh, techniques and tips and tricks on there. Um, next week, we'll be doing number three in our five-part series 
for um, techniques with embossing powder. And I look forward to seeing you guys. Thank you so, so much for joining. Um, you can always, always leave a comment on the video or post a question on the page. Uh, Renee and I are happy to answer any uh, questions that you might have about the techniques that we're showing. And we, um, we really appreciate you guys spending a couple of minutes on your Tuesday evening with us. Alrighty. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week.